I think the goddamn thing's working. Hey, TV people, all the mad mud duck back to you to, to Wednesday, the 11th of uh, September. 911 for those of you that uh, ain't into that sort of thing. But, uh, oh shit. She who shall remain nameless is, uh, come on, get this right. Get this right. Don't fuck this up. 56th birthday. We'll go with 56th. I don't think she's 57 yet. So that means I have been 60 for three whole fucking weeks because her birthday is three weeks exactly after mine and could never understand why she could never remember what fucking day my birthday was on. Just go three weeks exactly up the calendar for yours, woman. Okay, so what the fuck is going on? 9-11, woohoo, big deal. Been there, done that, nothing I could do about it. It's all fucking, oh shit. If you only knew the truth on that one. But, YouTube would yank my fucking license and fucking put me away if I told you what's really going on there. It was all about the money. Big money. Oh man, you had no idea the fucking trading that was going on right before that happened. All right, other shit. Get woke up this morning by some text. Evidently, Austin ain't gonna pay me any more to run her around, but she has an appointment up at uh, Valley Cities at two, and fed away at two. But she ain't he ain't gonna pay me any more to run her around. Ed text wants a ride. Uh, can I be at, down there at ten o'clock for his ten thirty thing to go sell some projectors? So I get up to that. Excuse me a second. I had some tobacco in my lap and I didn't like it in my lap. I had to get up and brush it off. I'm moving a little better. So what else is going on? Uh, so I'm out doing a pre-flight on the truck and Sherilyn shows up as usual because she always comes to me first. If she's got a problem, some bugginers need something, she always comes to me first. Babbling on about wanted dinner, chicken breast and that and this rape thing that happened to her that nobody's listening to her about. I'm the only one that's picking up what she's laying down there, okay? You got to listen to like every sixth word when she's babbling. And then, because she's out and talking to me, Ed texts their dad. Their dad comes flying up, yelling and screaming at her about something I don't know. It probably had to do with me again, because for some reason, her brother and her dad are doing every goddamn thing possible to prevent, prevent me and her from hooking up. I don't know what the... What, I'm not good enough for your fucking addict, meth whore, fucking bitch daughter, lunatic fucking bitch daughter? I'm one of the only fucking people that can handle her and put up with her shit for too long. That's pretty damn bad when, uh... But shit, I'm always the first when he calls when he can't find her. Uh, is my daughter up there with you? It had been a long damn time since some young lady's father had called me up looking for his daughter in the morning. See, they both act like... Uh, what Austin tell me one time, the only reason I'm with her is because I'm hard up. I told him I ain't that fucking hard up. There's more to the girl besides pussy and boobs, okay? Okay, so she's got these neat little titties with these big old nipples that stick out like they're fucking uh, the opposite of cross-eyed, you know? They, they, so they fascinate me. Not used to playing with little titties. Usually anything less than a D cup is beneath my notice, but uh, these little ones fascinate me. 
but they're acting like I'm all into her because, just because I want to jump her bones and, you know, get my dick wet in her. No, 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 no. With where her pussy has been until I get a full goddamn medical, I don't even know if I want to stick a finger in that, okay? She's one of them bitches that would have taken home to the hot tub and soaked in heavily chlorinated water for about an hour first. <laughs> That ain't even nice. Don't do that. You can't talk like that. Yeah, but shit, I'm just telling the truth. Back in the fucking 90s, uh, I brought them home, soaked them in the fuck. Brought them home from the bar on the back of the bike, soaked them in the hot tub for a bit, made sure they were fucking clean, and then they had their ways with me. Leona. Boy, that was a pass around party piece. But, uh, no, it's not like I'm hard up and just want the bitch with the pussy and all that. Like I said, I wouldn't dick her without a goddamn full medical fucking report. Current, recent, up-to-date. I ain't stupid. I like my little pink pecker. I like to have that some bitch. I've been attached to it for six, over 60 years and kind of like to hang on to it. Well, I do kind of hang on to it, but there's a bad joke in there somewhere. I like the girl because she makes me happy. She makes me smile. We have a good time together when we're together, when she's not all fucked up on the dope. Even when she's all fucked up on the dope. I'm not trying to get into her pants and dick her because uh, I know better. I like the companionship. I like, I just like the girl. There's something about her that when she's being Cheryl, she's got a smile that she gives me that makes me good. It makes me feel good to be me. She does little things and says little things that just get right in there. And that's the way it's been for a long time. Evidently, Sean was never clued into the fact that me and her were hooked up before Ed dragged him in to meet his sister. And I got kicked to the curb, and I didn't realize I was getting kicked to the curb. All of a sudden, it's, uh, she's got some dude staying with her, and I thought we were going out. Would have been nice to have been broken up with there, girl. The same one that says we can't be together again because Sean hasn't broke up with her. Well, I never broke up with you when you got together with Sean. Make me ask your brother and your dad permission to date you. 56 goddamn years old and asking like a 16 year old. Hadn't asked somebody's permission to date their daughter in about 40 years. Her dad looked at me like I was out of my rabbit ass mind and said, yeah, go ahead, do what you want to. Her brothers, he threw a little fit like a jealous boy ex-boyfriend. No, you can't date her. She's not ready for a relationship. But this son of a bitch brings Sean up to hook up with her, pays him to keep her, be up here, from what she says. Well, it was her money he was using then. And, uh... Every time I turn around, it's Sean, Sean, Sean. Go find Sean. Go get Sean. Bitch, the dude left, like, ten months ago. Where the fuck was he to all this bullshit and this goddamn you running around naked and howling at the moon and screaming beluga whales were raping you in the ass and talking tiny tits, Tina and some guy that Sean brought over that thought you guys were going to have a threesome and then the guy, well, what the fuck am I even doing here and got mad and left and all sorts of weird shit about you and Sean and you guys' kink and uh, then... Uh, Her craziness, the cops, the fucking ambulances taking her off. I mean, the motherfucker wasn't here by her side during all that. I was the dumb son of a bitch here by her side during all that. Goddamn, I made YouTube videos about the shit. It started off as me ranting and raving about shit going on in the world and going on in my life. Did come to a 
constant bitching about her. Last I heard from her is I'm supposed to clean the place up because she's moving in. And I need to make a video to explain to Sean about me and her and she's moving in with me. Well, hell, I stayed with her last winter. She can stay with me this winter. Yeah, Sean, the moment you were out the door, she was back up on my door knocking on my fucking door. Back up on my doorstep again. Because she always comes back to me first. Gets out of jail, comes up to me first. Why? Because the dumb bitch loves me. She just don't admit to it. She knows I'm always going to be there for her, no matter the circumstances. And whenever she gets out, she's right back up here. Insane fucking day. And I was supposed to have her an appointment in Kent by now. It'd be nice if these people would call me. So, she's missing an action. Ed's canceled the appointment, or had the appointment canceled. Austin's off to work. I'm sitting here thinking about time I jack this son of a bitch up and start working on it. Ed's going to have want a fucking ride, because that's the sort of day it's been. Texting with my brother, with uh, she who shall remain nameless. And thinking it'd be a nice day to start working on something here, but the moment I get